What's up guys, I'm Tash, this is Tash Tech, another Logbook T video. If you recall, uh, the last Logbook T video was about the Ultimaker. Um, I just want to bring this video real quick because lots of people have been asking me when am I going to hit you with the TiVo Black Widow review. It's coming up soon, alright. Uh, TiVo sent me a repair kit, I couldn't give them a good review because, or you know, a, a decent review because there was a few issues with the printer as in with any printer. So they had to send me a repair kit, things like the power button wasn't working, I had issues with the hot end, the extruder as well. And um, on, I, they sent it with, South, with the post office and obviously I didn't get it because South African post office, come on, come on, anyway. So they sent it to me with DHL on Saturday and yesterday morning, Monday morning, this box arrived. Yeah, check it out guys. So I just want to, let's see what's in the box real quick. Let's get the box. Okay, so VL touch sensor, all right. I'm going to put that onto the Tigo Black Widow. A E3 DV6. Uh, 24 volts into cartridge, I'm assuming. Definitely has to be 24 volts. And the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The bracket that mounts the E3D P6 into the extruder there, which we probably won't use because. Okay, one more thing power button. It's a nice new plastic -y power button. Right? As you can see here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to actually being able to turn it off. And then this, E3D Titan. How cool is that, guys? They sent me an E3D Titan. Yeah. I just gotta assemble that. I'm gonna have a sipper motor around here somewhere. So I'm gonna do it with that crappy extruder that's on the TiVo at the moment. I know you, some people may like it, but I don't. I've had issues with it. You know, I took the whole thing apart. I put a V5 in there that I had, and an E3D V5, and yeah, the fan is for 12 volts, so I have to put a, I have to put a step down voltage controller in there which I haven't done yet, and then I took the entire extruder apart, cleaned it up, put it back, and then it worked, and the moment I changed filament, it stopped extruding again. It just grinds at it. You have to have that thing so tight that it actually flattens the filament, and then it grinds away at it, and you don't get anything. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to sort that out. Um, and I'm looking forward to this. So, as you can see in the background, I've got the cron printing away there, happily. <laughs> we had a few issues with that, but anyway. The guys at 3D printing saw so cool. Thanks, thanks so much to Dietrich and uh, and Josh today. Paul, you guys are awesome. Thanks for sorting this out for me. This is uh, my third print and half, <laughs> and it's working. I'm happy. I'm happy now. Yeah. I mean, look, I was always happy. The guys at 3D printing saw they're like so awesome. Anyway, um, so I've got that printing. I'm just printing a, cali a calibration cube in the background just to like calibrate the cron. And once it's cal calibrated. I'm going to have to print a fan shroud for the TiVo as well as a BL Touch and Clavs BL Touch uh, brackets. And I might have to print a bracket for the E3D Titan as well. I'm not too sure how I'm going to fit that on there, but I might, have to, I might have to design and print one on there. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and then I just want to talk about the uh, Ultimate video that I did last love with T video. A lot of people have been giving me a lot of crap, and yeah, it stirred up quite a bit of a shitstorm. Guys, all the comments on that video were basically agreeing with me, but there was a lot of dislikes on there. I had messages on Facebook, um, like actual messengers and emails like, oh, you know, how dare you talk about the Ultimaker when they are leading the the, uh, the the 3D printing market. Are they? Why? You know, it seems to me like an Apple situation. The only reason you like them is because it's Apple. They, see, they feed you the same shit every year and you keep buying it because it's expensive. I mean, 60 odd thousand rand for that printer, no, 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 no. Um, anyway, I had a lot of dislikes on that video, uh, but none of the dislikes actually commented on there and said this is why. Because again, it's like one of those things where I think you bought it, and you're like, oh, I bought it. Oh, the only thing I can do is dislike it. If you have a legitimate reason of why you you disagree with me on that video, let me know in the comments. Don't just don't just uh, uh, just dislike it and then send me a mail saying, oh, you suck. Uh, <laughs> talk shit about the the, the Ultimaker. Um, there was a company here in South Africa in Johannesburg that said to me, can, I can have, come and have a look at it. And the thing is, I can come and have a look at it, but if you really want me to, to change my mind about it, let me have it for a review. And Ultimaker is not willing to do that. And this company said they're going to get back to me, and they haven't. So all I have to say is stop wasting my time. That's it. If you have nothing. Uh, nothing constructive to say about the situation or to comment on my logbook T videos, don't say anything at all. How about that? See, the thing is with YouTube, it's 
even if you dislike or like a video, it's interaction. I get paid either way. Not a lot, but I do this for free, basically. You know YouTube pays peanuts, but it's interaction nonetheless. So thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to bolt this stuff. Look, I'm going to print that fan shroud, and then I'm going to get the BL, the uh, BL Touch installed, and then I'm going to just start printing with the TiVo as well. I'm, I'm really excited about the Chrome. The Chrome is actually starting to work now, so well, well, I'm putting it to work now. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have lots of time lapses coming in from there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button, and let's talk to me, eh? Cool.